Hey there gang, Kawaii50 here, and if you can't tell by the title, I am pretty darn excited for this game. Like and subscribe, there, got that out of the way. Fate Extra was a very formative game for me in terms of becoming a Fate fan. Uh, Fate in general was something I dabbled in before that, but sort of like fell out of previously. But when I ended up actually getting loaned a copy of Fate Extra for my PSP, by a friend in college that was that was wonderful that was really the game that ignited my interest in fate and led me down the rabbit hole of you know different anime and led to me watching fate zero and led to me playing fgo it is it is a very very important game for me however i try not to look back at it in like rose tinted glasses because i am saying objectively speaking as much as i enjoyed the characters of the game as much as i enjoyed the story of the game as much as i enjoyed the incredible musical soundtrack of the game this i didn't enjoy so much <laughs> So despite being Fate Extra's like, one of their most ardent defenders, I'm going to say the combat in the OG was not so great and definitely has not aged well as time has gone on. I really don't necessarily like it when a lot of stuff is purely luck based. So when it comes to Fate Extra's combat, that was kind of just a hard pill I had to swallow when it came to playing through the game. However, with Fate Extra Record, the combat that they are bringing to this game seems insanely interesting to me. The way they are doing this crazy card-based mechanic. You might be saying, but Justin, how can a card-based mechanic like this be any more engaging than the rock, paper, scissors mechanic Fate Extra had previously? Like we got to figure out things about the previous servants, unlock different rock, paper, scissors things, and you know, know what attacks to anticipate so we could completely sweep the competition. If anyone tells you that card-based gameplay like this cannot be engaging, there's a there's a wealth of games out there that they have not played. You end up hopping on to Steam any day of the week, and there are going to be tons and tons of card-based focus games that end up drawing a ton, a ton of focus and a ton of love, and they actually have a ton of depth to them. I know the most recent one a lot of people are really focused on is Bellatro. I haven't personally played Bellatro, so I can't speak to its quality. I've heard it's very, very good, and I definitely need to play it soon. But one thing I have played recently, and one genre of board game I also enjoy, I'll go into a little bit. But I've played Slay the Spire recently, and I can say Slay the Spire is wholly, wholly engaging. A game where you continually build your deck, try to get better cards, and then as you continue to build your deck, swap out the worse cards for the better cards. Eventually, yes, potentially building a fairly bloated deck, but through smart discarding, trimming down to a deck that creates a character that just completely obliterates the competition. You know what you're drawing, you know how your cards are interacting with each other, you know exactly exactly what your deck is designed to do you have built a laser focus around it and it is going to continue to push you forward i felt a lot of the same as an avid magic the gathering player as i continue to tune my decks and try to build even better things i found a lot of personal joy rather than just building the things that are quote unquote solidly good focusing on one single mechanic and exploiting that mechanic into impunity. I did a similar thing in Slay the Spire. I try to do a similar thing when I play one of my favorite deck building games, Heart of Crown, a game where you are a nobleman trying to back a princess and you start with a pretty bad deck of cards, but as you buy more cards and discard other cards from your deck, you end up building a fairly strong power break and can do things like attacking your opponents, completely forcing them to discard cards from their hand, forcing their deck to fill up with junk cards, 
all things I think Fate Extra Record has potential to do. I know there have been people out there that have looked at the card based mechanics in Fate Extra Record and they've seemed a little worried. You know, we're looking at the very bare bones basics. There's cars that cost one, there's cars that cost two. You know, we're trying to look at AP, manage AP, do whatever we can to, you know, hit our opponent with the strongest attacks while retaining our AP. What I will say in defense of Extra Record is that this is a very bare bones mechanic that we've seen in the gameplay reveal. They are obviously still working on this. They are obviously fine tuning this, but if Fate Extra Record is going to really push itself and try to give us the kind of finely trimmed experience that games like Slay the Spire have, essentially rather than taking the bite-sized gameplay, allowing us to build a powerful deck over the course of a very long time and essentially getting to the end of Fate Extra Record, having a servant that just absolutely obliterates opponents and that just all being through our own personal finally honed deck craft, this is definitely a game I'll play more than once. That was another huge issue with the previous Fate Extra. Even though, you know, they tried to differentiate a lot in the previous characters, a lot of the stuff felt samey. In recent Famitsu interviews with Nino Kazuya for the ninth anniversary, uh, he did mention that they wanted to do this easy to learn card game format, but it was their easiest way to make every servant play differently and have their pros and cons. If Nero and Archer and Tamamo no Mai all have completely different decks that they could possibly build, all focused around different subsets and playsets. If we include things like general cards that any character can use, use those to, you know, grow our playset and then have people get incredible focused cards designed around what they in particular do as a servant, I really think that we are going to get a finely tuned, incredibly interesting, worth playing more than once game. I gotta say, I'm, it's taken me a while to make this video, but I am very, very impressed with the potential that the card game mechanic holds. All that really matters is can we stick the landing? And I hope they do. Let me know your thoughts about Fate Extra Records card game based combat down in the comments section below. Let me know if you've played any of the games I previously mentioned, like Bellatro or Slay the Spire or anything like that. I really wanted to go ahead and, you know, address that as much as I could. But if you also have any sort of experience in card game roguelikes, which Steam is just full of, or any of those other games I mentioned, let me know. And let me know if you are okay with the original Fate Extras combat being changed. I know there's probably going to be some people out there that don't necessarily like the change, and I would like to know if you just don't like card-based combat or if there was something you really loved about the initial mechanics. Go ahead and give me your thoughts. But anyways, gang, that's it for me, Kawaii 5 I hope you all have a phenomenal day, and I will see you all in the next one.